On April 30th, 2024, Australian low-cost carrier Bonza announced that it would be suspending all operations with immediate effect. The official reason provided by the company was that discussions were underway regarding the ongoing viability of the business. In today's video, we examine what happened to Bonza and how it got itself into this situation. It's bad news for Bonza. The airline's 737 MAX 8 aircraft were reportedly repossessed by lesser AIP Capital, and the airline canceled all of its flights, immediately stranding hundreds of Australian travelers. Bonza had four Boeing 737 MAX 8s in its own fleet, and was also using a wet lease 737 MAX 8 from Canadian sister airline Flair Airlines, a carrier also owned by 777 Partners. This parent company has since been accused of fraud, but that's another story for another day. Bonza was a newcomer to the Australian domestic airline scene, having only launched operations in January 2023. In its short existence, the carrier had taken a different stance to survive in the country's highly competitive airline market. It chose to avoid trunk routes where competition is high, and instead preferred to launch low-cost point-to-point services in secondary-level markets with little or no competition. The majority of Bonza's routes, around 84%, were previously unserved by low-cost carriers. The carrier's first year of operation seemed to be a success, with the airline reporting in January 2024 that 750,000 passengers had been carried in 2023, serving 21 destinations and 38 routes. So what factors might have contributed to Bonza's failure? Well, Australian aviation is already highly competitive. It's a market that's largely dominated by Qantas and fellow Qantas Group carrier Jetstar. Adding to the competition is Virgin Australia, with its fleet of 100-plus aircraft. These airlines have their loyal following and have well-established loyalty programs as well. This could have made it difficult for Bonza to lure travelers away. But there are a few other factors that may have led to the airline's demise. News.com.au notes a few possibilities. One was that the airline insisted on selling tickets through its own app. This meant that flights could not be found through websites like Google Flights. Thus, many travelers that might have flown on Bonza may not have known about the airline at all. Another likely reason was Bonza's small fleet. It would make sense to start small and grow the fleet as more revenue comes in. However, a small fleet of aircraft means that any disruptions or mechanical issues will result in flights being canceled rather than a replacement aircraft being activated to continue operations. Cancelled flights can lead to irreparable reputational damage, scaring away travelers who might otherwise have been loyal customers. And to add to the problem of a small fleet, an airline will need to choose between offering a diverse number of destinations or offering a sufficient selection of flights and frequencies. The airline didn't seem to offer flights that catered to short weekend trips. In fact, a traveler speaking to the media stated, if they changed their flight schedules to Friday evening departures and Sunday afternoon returns, they'd see an increase in bookings. Ultimately, while Bonza may have acquired aircraft at a lower price during the pandemic, other factors made it difficult for the airline to thrive. What do you think of all this? Let us know by leaving a comment. Aerotime is a global, multi-channel, digital, and professional hub, providing news, events, and advisory services to the aviation world. Be sure to subscribe to our newly relaunched YouTube channel and follow us on social media to get the latest aviation news.